story is about um, goldfish dust. Steve and Dave and I would play a lot in Steve's backyard. Uh, and we'd jump the fence and we'd go over into this big, uh, this guy had probably five or ten acres of his home, I'm not sure how, it was a large area. His name was Mr. Feldstead. And Mr. Feldstead had a pond and had a goldfish in the pond. Uh, we would take our bow and arrows over and shoot, shoot at magpies and try to shoot BB guns and try to shoot birds with our BB guns or pellet guns, things like that. And we hunted all the time over there, primarily on Sunday afternoons when we were bored after church was, church was done. As we would uh, uh, go over there, though, we, he had this pond and it was filled with goldfish. I don't know what kind of goldfish. They were pretty good-sized goldfish. But anyway... This one, this story is, is, I call it goldfish dust, because we brought the goldfish, after we took the goldfish out of the pond, we brought them back over to Steve's house, and they said, what, what can we do with these goldfish? And, and we didn't know what to do with the goldfish. So we were, I think we are probably in elementary or junior high, so we put those goldfish on the road, and they had died by then. We put them on the road, and uh, they were dead laying on the road, and so we popped wheelies over them with our Schwinn stingray, stingrays. And the rule was, you had to pop a wheelie over. You could, if you hit the if you hit the fish with your front wheel, um, it disqualified you. So we had to do it. You had to roll over it on a wheelie with our back wheel, and eventually the goldfish just turned into kind of powder and blew away. We ran, we ran over it so many times. No, it was not. We should not have done that. It was not a very good thing to do. Um, but we were kids, and we did some foolish stuff. Uh, I would much rather catch fish now and release them because, uh, you know, if you're not going to eat them, release them. But uh, be respectful with, be respectful in that situation.